Hello, my name is Corey and I am a Star War. And my name is Corey and I am a Star War. And my name is Jim and I am also a Star War. And we, we are, are a Star, Star War. So topic uh, for this mini episode is if they did a what if type series for Star War, what alternative storyline would you like to see? This was yeah. a, a topic that Corey Martin came up with. Uh, so Corey Martin is going to start as soon as I get this timer started on this mini episode. Uh, y'all, I'm not good with my phone this evening. And go 20 minutes. Okay, so this is really just an excuse for me. Let's go. To dive into my favorite fan theory that I'm not saying I created, but I, I don't think I've seen it articulated the way that I, you know, sometimes when you like, get a little and then you're watching the show and you see things on a different level I think sometimes. we might be a little right a little now. bit a little bit so i was i was thinking i was thinking i was watching new hope i was watching the original trilogy it occurred to me you know like the way that we keep talking about how they're going back and kind of fixing things and you know you could argue that we all for 20 years were like how is it gonna blow up the thing with one shot that's so stupid so they made a whole movie explaining how that worked like fix the plot hole so i was thinking like that was an original how yeah hell. yeah exactly so i was thinking when i was watching the sequel i mean the uh when i was watching a new hope for the first time and when you first meet ben and he says all the things that he says about luke's dad which you know now that he was like lying and you know kind of from a certain point of view exactly he he wasn't telling the complete story as we now know it in full and so then it occurred to me that like well he lies like and when you first meet yoda yoda's like oh you're looking for yoda are you like he lies about who he is for a minute like they all do that he's like oh you're looking for ben you're looking for obi-wan hmm don't know him but my name is Ben Kenobi. My yeah. name is Ben. So then I had this, I had, I, I went real deep and I was thinking like, well, if they're lying, what could they be lying about? And what if there's more to this? How are we? And it was partly, it was, how are we going to fix the duel in a new hope where Obi-Wan and Vader uh, yeah. fight? And it's not that good. Now, in retrospect, we're like, oh, we've seen so much better lightsaber fights than that. And we can say that they're old, but we know what Vader did the day before right. now because of... Because we saw it. Because we saw it in Rogue One. So, we know that he could still whoop the ass. So, it's kind of silly. It's kind of silly the way that he just kind of like, me yeah, me I mean, and jabbing at point. Obi-Wan. Obviously, we know they were filmed 40 years apart. Too. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that... I have a theory where they were Lay actually they were working together. So symbiotic. Yeah. So they in my world, this is my what if episode. This is my alternative um timeline, if you will. Okay. Vader goes to Tatooine, he finds Obi-Wan and he's like, Look, I'm sorry. I I really messed up. And the Palpatine is he's been doing all this thing, it's awful, and I need your help to kill him. And Obi-Wan's like, well, you know, you have a kid. And he's like, what? So, uh, <laughs> so then they get all, they all get together and he's like, yeah, we're actually going to pull in your daughter and we'll use her. And now, he's like, I have a daughter, Tambien? Yeah. And he's like, look, you're going to, I want you to go and capture your daughter. All right. And like take her hostage. So now we know why he didn't know that she's standing right next to right, him. Right. Because he didn't know. But he knew. And he was, they were faking the whole time. They're like, yeah, I'm going to capture you. I'm going to, I'm not really going to torture you. I guess he did blow up her planet. That's rough. That was Grandma Tarkin though. Oof. Yeah. Ah, but he was standing there. Vader couldn't, didn't stop it. But anyway, the whole, I had this whole theory where they're all working together. Obi-Wan says, listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get your son and I'm going to tell him a little bit about you, but not everything. And then I'll get him to the Death Star and we'll take out the, like, I, there's a whole plan where Obi-Wan and Anakin sat down and figured it out. And, and that's that, how all that stuff worked out. Uh, and that what if episode to me ends with that conversation between the two of them on Endor before they go up to see the Emperor. 
Right. That that honest piece of dialogue between the two of them where mm-hmm. where Vader is not being Vader, he's being Anakin mm-hmm. for the first time. Yeah. Y'all smart. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say yeah. I mean I'm not <laughs> I'm I'm not sort of lucky sometimes. <laughs> That's about it. I have a hard time thinking of it for things like that. Like, just from taking a step back and looking at in the big picture, I'm just like, oh, that was a good lightsaber fight. <laughs> the Miwoks sure did fuck them up. They sure did. Mm-hmm. And y'all looking at it like, this is the first time this was Vader or Anakin. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some good stuff in there. And I think that, I think that, that it would be cool to do all that and kind of plug in a bunch of those little holes that we all still know. Like, And, and I feel like they've... Um, and I don't know the name of the character in the MCU that does the that hosts the what if stories. The Watcher. the Watcher. The Watcher. Okay, so I feel like Rebels introduced the Star Wars version of the Watcher, where they could actually do a what if series, and that's the world between worlds, mm-hmm. right? Like you, you could start a new episode within that space, and then zero in on one of, you know, an infinite number of possibilities, and then watch characters play out differently. Mm-hmm. You hear that, Disney? Although I suddenly feel the urge to make it known that I hate multiverse stuff in all these shows now, like, cause it's just a fake, it, it's, it's, it's like a, it's a cheat code to be like, of, you know what, it, we can do whatever we want. It's kind of like when heroes was going really, really well and it was a fun show to watch. Mm-hmm. And then they really started leaning too hard on time travel and then nothing mattered. And exactly. then the strike happened and then we were all like, nah. yeah, you got tired of it. Yeah. So that that's an interesting question because the, this was part of a thing I was, was listening to earlier on another podcast. When? Earlier. They were talking about the world between worlds. And um, somebody asked Filoni, like, are you going to fuck around with time travel? He's like, nope. There will be no multiverse type situation of this shit. He was like, you know, Ezra was able to pull Ahsoka out of time when she was having that battle with Vader slash Anakin. Uh in the Jedi Temple near the end of Rebel Season 4. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And you see Ezra pull her out of there, but then, like, she's put back in the same exact spot, right? So I, I, I didn't rewatch that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't rewatch that one recently, but I always felt like the. Like, their decision to put her, to save her, essentially, is what cost Kane in his life. Hmm. Really? Because that, that. I mean, I can be wrong. I'm. I'm okay with that. But no, that's. I mean, I, <laughs> I just remember thinking that, and I may not have a good reason for that. But yeah, I always felt like there was there was you, you couldn't like a, a situation with um, Black Widow and Endgame, mm-hmm. right? Like you couldn't do the thing without sacrificing someone. Someone. Well, that's that's interesting because. We we just had a whole episode about, you know, basically Ahsoka Tano recaps and getting to know the character and things that happen in the Disney Plus list of essential episodes that the episode where Kanan dies was not part of that. So nope. I, haven't, I haven't seen that episode in a while. Um, I, I, I did watch that one. Did you? I went back and watched it. Yeah. So, like, do you think they'll refer to Kanan at all? Like... He I and, wish they would. He and Hera Ezra had, would. Had a baby. Are we going to see that baby? Interesting point. Mm-hmm. Right? His mm-hmm. name was like Jason or some shit. <laughs> Jason Sandula. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I think his name was Jason. So, like, are we going to see that? And then if they're like, well, who was the baby daddy for the people that haven't seen it? Mm-hmm. You know, what do they think? They have no idea, I guess. They're certainly not going to follow with Jason. <laughs> Jason Sindula. <laughs> hmm. So, hmm, more what if stuff. Do you have any other? Because I have. Yeah, nothing. I mean, your, your what if episode that. is solid. I love it. What's another one? Oh, I only had the one good idea. <laughs> that, okay. was, that was well, why I came up your with this question idea. to use my one idea. Um, I mean. 
if I'm going somewhere else, it would be sequel trilogy stuff. We could do an alternate timeline where so uh, Poe and okay, Finn I want, I want are to hear in love. <laughs> I'm going to hear that one. But um, let me give you a, a what if prompt for Empire. Okay. What if Vader didn't deflect Han's blaster shot there in the ambush scene? What if Han shot Vader down in that scene? Oh, wow. I and, mean, I don't have, I have nowhere and, to steer that. I mean, it can be credits. nowhere. Right. And credits. Directed by. Ding, 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 ding. Um, Maybe so. No, I don't know. If he, uh, I mean, could he get through his armor with just a blaster? Was that? Probably fool's, not. But that seems foolish anyway. <laughs> it's, it seemed like one of those Shoot moments in Star piece. Wars where if it had gone the other way, things would have been completely different, right? Now, the way that it did go, do they sit down and have dinner? I think they do. I think, I think Vader's they sit down that cold blooded. They sit down and have dinner, right? And he's like, "Yeah, my son's coming. He's right. going gonna to come because I'm going to torture you." And and he's like, "Serve them cold mashed potatoes, <laughs> right? Like it's undercooked <laughs> chicken, right?" <laughs> yes, a, a chicken he's an asshole. 115 degrees, right? Like they're going to have diarrhea later. <laughs> on Solo is going to get dysentery. <laughs> Mr. Vader, why are there only spoons? <laughs> Can we have a fork? <laughs> no. Only spoons. This is a very dark <laughs> timeline. What 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 is a what if for you, Corey Hannah? I, I got nothing. I, I thought this was a very interesting topic. I was mostly All right, hold on, I got one for you then. <laughs> oh shit. What if when Cassian Andor gets to the top of the prison and he stops and looks back at Kilo Noy? <laughs> And Kilo Noy says, bitch, what are you waiting for? And grabs him and they both jump off. <laughs> what is what what does that show look like when they get to the surface? I mean, I don't know, because we, we, we discussed this. Like, do we think he's still on that fucking battle state or not battle station, but that prison? Do we think he's still there? Do we think maybe he eventually jumped and got somebody to help carry his ass to the shore? I mean, those are what we hoped would happen. But I'm saying, what if he, said, he is an Olympic swimmer? <laughs> what if he has like the equivalent of the gold medal of, of high dives from his planet? He's the Michael Phelps. And he, he's the Michael prison, Phelps of nine, his nine, world. Seven, two, four. And he grabs Ky, uh, Cassian and throws him off. What happens then? What does that show look like with a guy like him in play? Does he go on to be Snoke? They just become buddies. He, oh, just riding around, just like getting into adventures. Cassian's like, we got to go back to Ferrix and at do a this flea thing. Market? They he, go to a flea market on Ferrix and they get some ninja stars. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, I love this. What if? He's like, Cassian, don't, don't do this. This rebel rebellion. Stuff. This is like the Stranger Things episode. I of think it'd be Star better Wars. if we just go and start a little farm somewhere. He's like, know? the lady that I basically think is my mom. Is a brick now. I gotta go find this goddamn brick. <laughs> right, but then they get James Gunn and Meta about it, and he gets a Walkman is listening to Brick House. She's a brick. Too soon. <laughs> How? Too soon. <laughs> she might to my town. She, what? She is a brick. So that was my what if. I mean, I got nothing. I was just I wanted to listen to y'all. Do we believe that clip that's going around where she's saying that when Marva? Does her final speech? They originally. I it, do because they're all on different fucking home cameras on computers. Like, yeah, she said, "Fuck the empire." It's like three different people. Hmm. I think, do you know what we're I talking about? Yeah. No, I mean, at the end of her thing, heard? where she says, "Fight the empire." Apparently, she originally was going to say, mean, "Fuck the empire." That's why I believe it. Let's go, baby. I thought that's where they were heading anyway. I was like, "Well, Disney ain't going with this slide." But I was like, this is... But then Guardians Volume 3. They did. They did drop it. I mean, and if you were ever going to use the word fuck in a Star War... You cannot say Phil Flarn Flarn Phil. In front of people. (laughs) If they were ever Ever going to say fuck in this universe, that was the chance, really. Right? Mm -hmm. This is the show that gave us our first shit. And bedroom scenes. Mm -hmm. So... Missed opportunity there on what if. What if they said the fuck? Yeah. But they didn't. There's so so many moments in Star Wars where that would have been appropriate. 
Hmm. Right. Like let's put F an F bomb in each movie before you How much time pulled we got something left? off before yeah, you five minutes, like can. right after you pulled the thing off. Right. Like there's the celebratory fuck. There's the, Oh my God, can we do it? Fuck. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. When he's in the trench and he's like, you lose the forest, Luke. And he's like, fuck. And then he shoots it or, or Vader or no, no. Same moment, <laughs> same moment, same setup. And, and Luke is like, fuck the fuck. Right? Like, there's five different ways to play fuck in that scene. I think when Vader gets shot and spun out into space in his fighter, I think he probably would have said fuck. And then somebody else would have said that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, which movie? That was what? It, that was that's uh, a that's new, new hope. hope. So, let's start back at one. We got four minutes. Let's roll. Let's go. Episode Phantom Menace. One. Where's the Phantom fuck? Menace. Where's the fucking Phantom Menace? The first time Jar Jar Binks says anything and we all went, fuck. <laughs> Okay, episode two. <laughs> Attack of the Clones. I hate fucking Sam. I hate, I fucking hate Sam. <laughs> or, or, or when the fucking uh, assassin would be gets shot in the neck, mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And she's like, this motherfucker. Yeah. And it was Django. All right, next. Episode three. Ooh. Revenge of the Sith. It's got to be in the. In the final duel. When Yoda drops his lightsaber, he just lets out a big old loud. Oh. How about, how about Obi-Wan's like, bitch, I got the fucking high ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think Anakin would have said to him, you cut my fucking legs and arms off and I'm on fire. Would you please fucking kill me? Yeah. You are my fucking brother. <laughs> or, or he could just look at him and be like, the fuck? You were supposed to bring balance to the force. What the fuck? Not fucking tear it apart. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Episode four, A New Hope. We did that. Uh, trench. We did that. The, the trench. trench, yeah. All episode right, five, Empire Strikes Back. Where's the fucking... When the fucking uh, hyperdrive fails for the second time, you know that Han and Chewie both screamed fuck and punched a lot of the, of the ship. We don't know for a fact that Chewie did not say fuck. That's true, because that we don't true. speak to you. Okay, so uh, episode six, Return of the Jedi. Jedi. Wicket said it. <laughs> he said, fuck them up. Right. <laughs> now, Luke comes up, and they're all celebrating. They got fucking dead stormtroopers are roasting, and they're like, what the fuck is uh-huh. going on? <laughs> all right, episode seven, uh, The Force Awakens. Um, Not that one. It's fucking garbage. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> episode Tell eight, the next Last Jedi. <laughs> Corey Martin in the theater. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? We're out of fucking fuel. <laughs> yes, that's it. Next. <laughs> Episode nine. <laughs> we don't have to do this. <laughs> so fucking <it's>, somehow. <laughs> right. There's fucking somehow Palpatine returned. Or, so what's your last name? <laughs> fucking Skywalker. <laughs> Uh, Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. That was lightning quick. That was awesome. What are some other movies? What about Solo? Yeah. Uh, uh, still, wait. Um, I don't know. It's been a minute. I've only seen it a couple times. I haven't seen it 700 times like I've seen Return of the Jedi. Well, I do think it would be completely justifiable when they're when Han and are trying to escape in the very, very, very beginning. Oh, from Corellia. And, right, right, from Corellia. And he gets the fucking speeder. St- he's like trying to show out for her. He's like, nah, watch it. I can do this thing. And he gets right. Stuck. And yeah. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Yeah. And he gets stuck. He gets the thing stuck. That seems like That's it would have been a, a good moment to say fuck. Okay. Uh, fuck. And, and I think it would have been even funnier for her to say it. Rogue One. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, when they get shot by the fucking dust. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, it, right? That's all the movies. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all the yeah, movies. That's all the movies. I think right. that timer stopped a long time ago. No, 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 <laughs> no it makes long. a sound. We haven't heard we the have sound. One minute. That was the shortest four minutes ever <laughs> we were rolling there was a couple of quick fires there so a couple of other key moments in anything from like mando book of boba fett uh mm. clone wars rebels mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what so we're putting an f-bomb in the show in so, a series uh when when ahsoka 
cuts half the mask off of Vader's face. Uh-huh. He says, a Jedi would do that. <laughs> she says, I am no fucking Jedi. I'm no Jedi. fucking Jedi. <laughs> or she slashes his mask and he says, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I thought we were in on this together, right? Like long game. Remember that? That one night we hatched the plan. <laughs> That's pretty good. We miss key moments though, like the fucking Empire. Oh, I am your when father. Mace Windu dies, ah, uh, that's oh. the big thank you, <laughs> you mother, <laughs> <laughs> you mother. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, he's like, search your feelings. Search, I'm your fucking search father. Your own fucking feelings. <laughs> That's it. Uh, and that's it. We are a Star Wars. Please feel free to follow us. Uh, we are Star Wars on Facebook and Instagram, and our uh, merry network of other podcasters at thealabamatake.com and the Alabama Take on any social media. Uh, may the force be with you. May the force be with you. We are a Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs>